Question. Did Philemon accept the letter that Paul sent with Onesimus and Tychicus? Yeah. Did he take back Onesimus into his service as a brother and no longer as a slave? Yeah, I think he did. Question is, why? Was it within Philemon's right to have refused Paul's request? Absolutely, yes, it was, it was within his right, but he chose not to. Why did he choose not to? Because of the way that Paul wrote that letter. And we can learn a business principle from this. And that business principle is how to negotiate, is negotiation strategies. Whether you're negotiating your next pay or a contract or you're talking to friends and you're trying to win over a particular person into your business or whatever, you are going to need to understand negotiation strategies. And we can learn that from this particular letter to Philemon, believe it or not, because everything is there in the scriptures. So what was the first thing that Paul did that we can all learn from? Number one, Number one thing to do is to establish love and concern for the person. If you're negotiating with somebody or with your boss or with a friend and you do not establish love and concern for that person's need, already this negotiation is going to fall apart in a moment. Look at what Paul did. He established that love and concern. He goes to Philemon. He tells Philemon, he says, you know, he says to Philemon, my dear friend and fellow worker, it says, to Alphia, our sister, to Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church that meets in your home, grace and peace to you. It says in verse 4, I always thank God for you as I remember you in my prayers because I hear about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. A, is established love. It's established concern. The second thing that we can learn, he also established, in all that, he established familiarity. He established that, you know what, I really know you that well. I know you, <laughs> it says, to Aphia, our sister, probably Philip Philemon's wife, and to Archippus, our fellow soldier, which is probably their son, because he writes about that also in the book of Colossians. So the first two principles is to establish love and concern for the person, establish familiarity with the person. That means you've got to find out and know the other party's position before you begin to negotiate with them. So that when you start talking, they feel like you really want to help them. Those two principles as an introduction towards any negotiation is so key and can help you to negotiate well. So I'm going to come back with other strategies in the next lecture. See you in a minute.